clearly we have not been doing that. We have not been focusing in on a particular uh, area of expertise. Put the lantern back on. I'll have to keep my eye out for more of those glintstone crabs as well, because that gave us a very nice headpiece. Right. To the left. I would leave the lift for last and jump over a few railings. Okay. Sure. Sounds like a good idea because uh, there are more railings over this side, aren't there? Oh, I forgot there's enemies around here. Ooh. It gives us a chance to test out Star Shower. Okay. Kills them in two hits, which isn't too bad. Not good damage on the magic guy, which makes sense. So let's go back to here. Do -do 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 -do. So it's still probably going to be kills in three for the sorcerers because they're not specifically weak to magic. I have to remember I'm not getting FP back either. Right, so we are... Where are we? Okay, so this is the courtyard. There's the Iron Virgin. We want to go that way. Uh, I should probably kill these guys just in case they try and follow me. Enemy going to some staff. So this will be a door that doesn't open from the side. So we've unlocked that shortcut. Good. One. Oh, it can kill them in two. Interesting. Okay, so not just jumping over railings, it's jumping over roofs too. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's where the glintstone crab was. So we can leave that to be for now. There. Yep, nothing over there. Let's check. Okay. So that's just death. And over on this side. Uh, there is a railing behind the caster that is also jumpable near the night dude. Hello. Ah. So of course, Glintstone Comet Shard being a better version of Great Glintstone Shard means that it takes more FP. Fine. Okay, we will go back to where Moongrim was before. Uh, but let's see where this leads. Arrows? There's a ladder there. Uh, that's where we were before? Yeah, because that leads back to the room with the Red Wolf of Radagon. Go around the outside here first. Okay, I found the outside. Golden room. Just in case. Okay. I know that most of the time, illusory walls do look kind of obvious. But you never know when you think, oh yeah, that's just a wall. And it's actually, no, that's supposed to be a wall you're supposed to, you know, roll through or try and attack. This looks a bit like an ambush. Uh, I don't see any gargoyles. This bridge, ah, I see. So it's not gargoyles, it's Avianet soldiers. Okay. 
Ooh, nice. So I'm assuming this also has more rain. Yeah. Died in three. Nice. Okay. Just make sure there's nothing else going to chase me from behind. Seem like it's good. Crystal darts. Okay. So I wonder. Aha, so there's an item over there. That's a bit of a jump. Can't get that straight away. Meteor Ball. Enchanted work of a craft made in tandem with the full moon crossbow. The tip is embedded with glintstone. Like a shooting star, these bolts leave a beautiful trail when fired. Deals magic damage. 8025. Okay. Mm. Alright. So... There's definitely an item there, so I wonder. Doesn't seem like I can get there straight away, so it looks like I'll have to go around. Let's go drop down. Okay. Yeah, I can see cracked tiles on the roof. So. This should be fine. Go ahead, Karen, going this way. Hmm. Huh. Uh, a bit of an eerie blue glow. So I can't make that jump. Hmm. A couple more levels down there. Okay. Oh. I can make that jump. Okay, well, I've messed that up then. Because I'll have to come back around to make that. Unless there's a ladder I can climb up again. Nice. Uh, see, which drop would I want to do? That one seems lower down than this one. So there's not a gap. Yep. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, that's definitely lower down. Just in case. Go in room. Yeah, it looks like I'd have to be able to make that jump to be able to get up there. There doesn't seem to be a way to get up otherwise. It's a really hard jump. You'd have to go max distance for it. Hmm. That makes it sound like it's not really an intended jump, is max distant. But we'll see. There's a soldier below me. There's a ladder. And there's another area to go to. Oops. Imbued sword key. Alright, so we've got... Another one of those. So we can finally do the last one of the the teleporters that are in the foot the four belfries. Down three. Oh, the ladder actually goes further down than where the soldier was. It's the only way to get there. It's very intended. Okay, well, never mind then. We will have to do it another time. Tell you what, from software do like you to be climbing on tops of buildings, don't they? The hole. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Lots of places to run and jump to. And there's an item below me on the chandelier, so I'll have to ignore that for now. Hello. Okay. Grease. 
these are walls. Okay, so... Nothing left on this side to do just yet, but I can just walk through. Hello. Is that it? No others for an ambush? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the fact that you're climbing on top of buildings does make it feel like, oh, if I miss something, I have to do this all over again. Right. Try not to kill myself here. So, will this chandelier break if I drop on it? Let's find out. Oh. Academy Glintstone Key! So we've got another one. Okay. This Glintstone Key is still brand new, unused by anyone. So it activates warp magic bound within the seals. So does this one say... Yeah, a glintstone key will remember its user, meaning once used it can be never passed one to another. The academy does not welcome the indolent. So they have different descriptions then. So there's a ladder there. I want to drop here. Hello. Goodbye. The, this is kind of a situation where I would appreciate a second pair of eyes, but unfortunately Pimsy has uh, decided to go and uh, settle Elliot down. I think she's just not feeling very well either. Way. Shattering Crystal. Creates crystal mass that shatters in a forward burst. Requires 38 intelligence. Sorcerer of the Mysterious Crystallians. Mass of crystal shatters in a forward burst. Charging enhances potency. Hello. I guess, yeah, these guys come once you try and get the item. I got lucky he missed a second one. Is definitely someone down there. Alright, so let's have a look at it again. The Crystallians are inorganic beings, yet they live. They cleave close to the ideals of the primeval current, and as such they are revered guests of the sorcerers. But that means that they are partially responsible for putting sorcerers into a ball of faces then, if they worship the primeval current. Uh, okay. We are actually above where we started. Yeah. Because there's this drop down here. Which we've done. Hello. Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. So, am I to assume that these crabs were once people? Bestowed upon Raya Lucari scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy, greatly increases intelligence to the detriment of HP and stamina. Ooh. I mean, that's giving me, what, six intelligence now? That's really good. That pushes me above being able to use Shattering Crystal Burst, or whatever it was that I just picked up. Hmm. Options, options, options. Uh, where are we above now? Yeah, we should be above the starting area again. That's where that goes. Just make sure there's not a secret wall. Yep. Cool. Uh, they made the building. They want you to appreciate even the roof. Yeah, but there's some in some cases, there's architecture that is put there to look nice, and there's architecture that's put there to look nice but also be playable. If that makes sense. Okay, you just a page? Okay. Mm 
Sorry, you didn't stand a chance. Perfume of bolts. This is a dead ball of faces. Azure's Clintstone stand. This takes 52 intelligence. So yeah, Lusa and Azure, same requirements. Staff of the primeval glintstone sorcerer Azure. Only those who have glints what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. I could see this one being more useful than Lusat's. Because you want to get more spells out. If you're getting interrupted, then having extra damage doesn't really matter. Okay. One last time. Alright. So, I could have sworn there was a ladder in the area that I was just in, but I've just not seen where to kick it down yet. Right, where was it? Because I don't want to do a jump if I don't have to. Here it is. Kick ladder. Okay, so that's the shortcut done. Well, is it even a shortcut? Because it only leads to here, right? And this is what we've done before. So it's whether we can go all the way up there. And let's see. Right, I think I have to teleport back anyway to make that jump. So, 12,000? Yeah. Can't worry about 12,000 too much. Alright, let's teleport back up. Church of the Cuckoo is not where we want to go. Oh, there's not a closer one, is there? Right. We have to... Oh, there was a, an NPC marker there I didn't see. Oh, it was probably the isolated merchant, wasn't it? Never mind. So, the Glintstone Sorcerer's Crown gives around 40 decks for casting. Max speed is capped at 70. Oh, sorry, not uh, Azure's Glintstone Staff. Yeah, 40 decks. Okay, so... Goes up to 59 dexterity. But it is still worth it, even if you increase your dexterity a little bit from what most would consider a baseline. Yeah, not the crown of the staff. Yeah, I, I just messed it up. I don't know whether there was anywhere else I could have gone to from where that ladder was, but... Oh, nice. The right. And six. Go, 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 go. Close. Okay. So. In terms of other railings we can jump from. Uh, doesn't really seem like there's anything on the right side. Although there is that there. Have a double check. No, that doesn't seem like anything I can do. Not a closer one, nope. Okay. Right, need to remember there's enemies back around here. Kill these guys. Ooh, Aristocrat Garb Altered. Interesting. High quality garb adorned with fine gold and embroidery. Travel attire worn by nobles in the capital. Terribly faded and tattered. Abandoning their birthplace after the shattering. These undead wanderers are the pitiful product of unending life. Okay. Still here in the chanting. Right. Uh, those are just crabs, right? Yeah, there's the Iron Virgin again. So the Sleep Crab is directly below where we are now. 
I didn't see another place to go from here. Hmm. There's just the long jump left. Okay. Good. Thank you for the reminder. Sorcerer man chest. Can you not give me your like chest piece? That seems more interesting. Yeah, just a few does. Okay, he's not gonna follow me. Get a torch out so I can see. Okay. So I need to remember when I come down the second time to go through the ladder that I saw. And this ladder wasn't on any to this bit. Uh, you check that side like three times and the side behind the caster not even once. Behind the caster, dude. You always check the right side, never the left. Yeah, I guess I just kind of default to what feels right. I'll do it again when I go back. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Oh, I need to do all these. Well, they die in one hit, so that's fine. Oh, I haven't got the spiraling one yet. So that's another one to keep an eye on. The spiraling uh, spell. Okay, so the long jump is not here. Can't be there. That is way too long. It feels like I need to be higher up for that. Alright. Is there a way to be higher up than where I just was? This is that bell. There's a, definitely a torch up there as well. The railing doesn't go all the way along. There is no way I can make this jump. That is not possible. I could make a jump if I was going from there to there, obviously. Hang on, the other side? Hmm. That's just a death drop. Uh, uh, there is a way up there after that big jump. There is a way up there after the big jump. Right. Oh, hang on. I think I, yeah. I saw cracked tiles lower down, didn't I? And I was like, oh, that's not a jump, is it? Yeah, this jump is doable. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Let's have a look, see. Max distance. Max distance. Alright. I don't know whether having lighter armor makes jumping better or not, but it feels like it might. If I'm light load. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh, that's a drop, so don't do that just yet. That's a jump. That leads to another drop. Okay. 
Um, I'll do this jump first. Actually, if I do that jump, I should be able to make it back, shouldn't I? Uh, Alright, I guess I'll pick this direction to go first. Reach. Okay. Out. Death drop. Death drop. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Yeah, there must be a way back up, considering how many small drops there are here. This. Go anywhere. There. Nope. Okay. Slight jump. There's a ladder. Hello. <laughs> I've got my sword equipped. That'll be helpful. Marionette Soldier Helm. I think you need to do the long jump two times to find everything. Okay, well. That, that kind of makes sense to me. Just need to... Check my phone one second. Okay. Do 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 do. Climbing. Climbing all the way. Oh, we're actually going to be underneath the bell, aren't we? I'm going to assume there is no way to ring the bell, and even if there was, that ringing the bell would do nothing for me. But I could be mistaken. Just a chess. Full moon crossbow. One of a kind enchanted crossbow of exquisitely detailed craftsmanship, made to celebrate the matrimonial union and reconciliation between the houses of the Erdtree and the full moon, Lanedell and Raya Lucaria. Two rings dance when reloading the weapon. Reveals true worth when used with few, with holy infused bolts. Nice. But it does no holy damage, interestingly enough. I wonder, do I even have holy bolts? Common bolts, more damage, magic, fire, fire, scarlet rot, uh, blood loss. I do not. Can I make uh, holy bolts? Buster bolts, uh, coal, blood, rot, poison, fire, magic, bone. Probably not. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um, right, so I am now trapped here, aren't I? Unless I can drop down safely. Might be possible. Uh, just before we do this. Please don't kill me. 